Hey, what's up guys? Dan H and welcome to the project. It's a gorgeous day today and the worst thing about working midnight is I have to wake up in the afternoon and miss out on this lovely, lovely spring. Uh, but we're gonna make the best of it. I got a channel update I wanna give to you. I, I know I unloaded a whole bunch of vehicles on you the last couple videos. So I'm gonna take the time and I'm gonna walk through them and let you know what's up with each of them. Uh, right now, we got the ZJ bumper in here and we're gonna go drop it off at Apex Auto Body and we're gonna get some paint done. Now Kevin over at Apex was probably the most forthcoming paint guy I spoke with uh, in my area. I called about 12 different paint shops, body shops, and uh, a bunch of them, um, if they didn't just blurt out $500 for a Cherokee bumper, or give me the uh, the runaround like, oh, we gotta re-prime, and we gotta etch it, and do all this work to it. I'm like, come on guys, I'm like, it's, it's a free ZJ. I'm not spending $500 on a bumper. Um, it's already pre-primed, I know, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I, I don't want to do a, a showcase job. I was just looking for someone to do a decent job and not uh, break the bank on Free Z. So yeah, we'll drop this off, then when we're back home, I'll give you a rundown on the fleet vehicles, and uh, some guy just threw a Burger King cup out the window. That's disgusting. Don't litter. There's garbage cans all over the place. There's no need for it. Disgusting. This guy. This guy's a litter bug. Do you see that car when you're out? Put your trash on the hood. That's what they deserve. So yeah, we're gonna drop this thing off. When we get back home, give you a rundown on the fleet vehicles, and I got a special update for uh, Beach Jeep that I need your guys' opinion on. So uh, stay tuned, let's get this going. Oh snap, we're here. I came out fast. All right, well that went amazingly well, and quick too. Kevin got it. He knows I'm not looking for a show car quality, uh, polish the clear coat kind of job. It's a 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I just want the bumper to match the rest of the vehicle. Um, the paint is still in good shape, so I wasn't ready to just monster line and, and bed line to the whole bottom half of it. Um, so I did want it to get painted, but I, I don't want the, uh, oh, we only do one kind of job, you know, and and make it perfect, charge me $500, no. This thing is gonna get a quick base coat, quick clear coat, and he's gonna make sure that paint sticks and it's gonna look okay to the eye, and uh, that's all I want. And uh, so we'll see how that turns out. And <laughs> it's awesome outside. Uh, I wish I could have the windows down, but you wouldn't be able to hear me. I'm definitely a windows down over an AC guy any day, probably because most of the cars I have don't have AC. But anyway, that's why I got the convertible. All you Mustang guys that are wondering why I didn't get a notch back, I like the top down. So that's it. Let's get home and I'll check in with you in a minute. All right, so I guess we'll start with the Explorer since we just drove in it. Uh, it's going back uh, within the month back to Ford because the lease is up. And you can see I went back to the 18 inch wheels because I used to have the 20 inch sport wheels and uh, took those off. Don't worry, I bought those, so I'm selling them. This is back to how it came. Only thing I have to do is I have to fix this chip in there. Actually, there's two. Got blasted by rocks behind the truck and uh, they'll bag you for it if you don't fix those glass chips. So that's the Explorer. Next up, we got Black Beauty. She's still a beauty, a little dirty, but uh, if you notice the headlights, no more angry eyes. Now, that was not by design, because I was totally intending on going for more angry eyes with this vinyl wrap I got. Unfortunately, this wrap is not a wrap. It's more like a decal, so it didn't work out. I had to change the lights because the other ones, they were uh, sandblasted off again. The paint did not work, and uh, this did not work, so no angry eyes. I know a lot of you will be thrilled to see an angry eyeless XJ, so maybe it's perfect again. <laughs> and jumping over here, we got Blue. Blue got the top. It's looking nice. She's dirty too. We just had a ton of rain last week, so everything's still filthy, and now the pollen's coming down. But these one-piece headlights, uh, I'm over them. They gotta go. I wanna go back to original three-piece headlights, 
but uh, I want them smoked. So that's blue for now. That'll be the next thing I do. Now we'll move over to Black Booty. I'm just happy that you got another Black Beauty. That's right. That's right. There it goes. Now you got two Black Booties. What, Black Booty? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Next up on the black booty, <laughs> XK Commander. We gotta fix this chip. I ordered it on eBay. Uh, we're gonna do the whole new mirror. Other than that, this thing's good to go. My wife wants me to lift it, but that'll be later on. Ooh, mail. Maybe we got ZJ parts. Nope. Not ZJ parts. Boo. Well, that brings me to my next vehicle, the ZJ. And since this was a gift from a member of our military, since the paint code is PJ-7 and my brother is a PJ in the Air Force, and I also have an airbag reference to General Grievous from Star Wars, we're going to name this thing General Grievous ZJ. Uh, you guys voted more than 50% that you like that name compared to the other names I put out there, so it's official. Project ZJ is going to be General Grievous. So here's where we're at right now with General Grievous. I got this all welded up, it's back and squared up again, and I gotta run to the auto parts store and get some primer so this thing doesn't rust. But we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna take care of all the paint underneath here, and I'm gonna take care of the uh, rad supports because that's starting to rust. Don't want it to rot. Um, check out the parts I scored the other day. This header panel, the grill, the headlight lenses, fog lights. I got the wood grain trim all for 80 bucks. So thank you, Santos. Uh, so much better than the junkyard prices. I priced out this stuff all over Long Island. They wanted 150 bucks for the header panel. Basically wherever I went. Uh, pulled this off a vehicle that was being parted out and I got everything here for 80 bucks. That's amazing. Let's see. The parts I ordered from eBay, I ordered these Moog sway bar bushings, the glass struts. Also ordered the sway bar end links, but they haven't arrived. That's why I was excited and disappointed when the mail came. And on to here. This is what I got from Rob and the other ZJ video. We got the interior panels. We got uh, the big uh, hat struts and we got a privacy cover. So I'm stoked on that. So. All of this stuff here was about 60, 80, blah, 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 about 260. Everything here was about $260. And since I sold the XJ seats, I sold the XJ wheels, and I sold, what else did I sell? Sell, ah, uh, the front end. Um, that right there, I made 260 off of that. So, so far, the whole ZJ build has been free. <laughs> so this thing is really fighting for that free Z name. I love it. So in an up-and-coming video, I'm going to paint all this stuff and get that right. All right, so I think that's it for all the parts on my General Grievous Free ZJ. Except for the driver door panel. I can't find them. Ooh, hello, Mr. Ultra Star. Surprise, surprise. Uh, people want 200 bucks for one driver door panel. So um, I might have something in the works. We'll see. I'm going to have to just pass on that for now. All right, moving on to the Project XJ, a.k.a. Beach Jeep. Hey, girls. All right, back to Beach Jeep. So my good buddy Dave, a.k.a. Beer Man. I'm Beer Man. <laughs> he has got a 2017 Dodge Ram Midnight Edition, and uh, it comes with awesome black 20-inch wheels. But he actually just upgraded his wheels and tires, and he hooked me up with these. It is 20 inch rims from his Dodge Rams. So I think these are sweet. I would love to get these on Beach Jeep. I'm going to wrap them with 33s, put a four and a half inch long arm lift, and this will be what Beach Jeep looks like. If you guys like it, I'm going to put out a vote. You guys got to let me know what you think. And this could be the ride for Beach Jeep. I would love the BFG KO2s. And uh, yeah, we're going to do a vote. If you don't like these, then I'll put the wheels from General Grievous on here, and I'll put the Ultra Stars on the General, and we'll do a flip floppy. Either way, I'm thinking 33s. Whether they're on 20s or 16s, uh, you guys will determine. All right, so that's one Beach Jeep update. Uh, 
here's the next beach jeep update this one i'm not as thrilled about because uh, floor pan is terrible completely terrible it was raining so hard the other day i figured i'd check on beach jeep peeled up the carpet and half of the floor came with it this is ridiculous. This is essentially a sponge. Why would you put a sponge on metal? It's literally trapping the moisture. And this is what happens. So, Beach Jeep just added more work. And uh, good thing we have this EJ, because this thing's gonna be down for a while. I don't work that fast. Here are the other options for Beach Jeep. Put these on 33s powder coat these do something with them because they're ugly big tires and it'll be either this or the ram wheels on beach jeep so i'm going to put out a vote shortly after this video let me know what you think ram 20s or jeep 16s <laughs> all right guys it's two days later and the bumper is finally done let's check it out ready ta-da that is looking nice. Unfortunately, it makes the rest of the Jeep look like garbage. <laughs> so we're gonna have to clay bar that thing to make it match the nice bumper. Uh, it also is a good day because we got our sway bar end links and our mirror. So this is all going in later. This is going in now. My brother-in-law is coming in the notch back. He's gonna pick me up. We're gonna watch the Avengers. So that's gonna be awesome. Uh, let me know what you think about those 20 inch wheels. So it's either that or the 16 inch wheels. Vote on it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I think he's coming in now. Yeah, here we go. Welcome to the channel, Matt Snatchback. Matt Snatchback. Matt, also known as Sheriff Mathis, uh, Scotty Tailpipes. Here he is. Hey. You just made it in time for the end of the video. Awesome. <laughs> Give it a rev. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next project.